everyone, it's Shelby here. Welcome back to A Little Literary Love. I'm glad you are with me today because today is going to be, um, I'll be talking about all the ebooks that I got in September. Um, I did get my hair changed, so I'm trying to pre-film a little bit because I am going to a book convention in October. I'm going to be really busy, so I'm trying to get stuff filmed ahead of time. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be going through my ebooks that I got. I have quite a few on here. Um, not as many that I got through Kindle Unlimited. I, if you watched my September wrap up, I had a pretty slow reading month. Um, but I did get a couple of arcs and there was a, there was a few, um, freebie days on Amazon. So if you want to just follow a bunch of people, I did not, I was not aware of these freebie days, but I follow some people that knew about them and then posted about them. So there was like a day where there was a bunch of like Omegaverse books on sale. Um, and then there was another day that had like some paranormal stuff, I believe. So I picked up quite a few free books. Um, and there are some more that are going to be happening in October. If I can remember where all those are from, I will try to put some links down below in the, in the description section so you can try to check some of those out um but sometimes it's just it just happens and I know at the last minute so we're gonna try to go through this pretty quickly I am feeling very rambly today so I apologize um so first book I have is Between Fear and Favor by Jess Weisscup. I got the arc of this one. Did not finish it in September but I did actually finish this before filming today so you can expect my review and wrap up of that in my October mid month wrap up. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is book three of the divine between series by just wise cup. And I've been loving it. Um, I can't say too much of what happens in this one because it does continue on from books one and two books, one and two, both end on cliffhangers. So be aware of that book three also ends on a cliffhanger. Um, but I loved it. Um, and it's a, a fantasy romance series. First book has like a second chance romance and it's just absolutely wonderful. And then I got The Marriage Hex by Sarah Blue. I got the arc of this one. I'm currently reading this book and I've been very much enjoying it. Um, this is a paranormal romance between our two characters. Um, one is a witch, one is a werewolf. Um, their families like do not like each other. Um, in fact, witches and werewolves are complete enemies. Um, but they knew each other as children and they were friends and made a pact to get married when they were 30 if neither one of them had ever like been married by that time and unknowingly our witch character she like locks this into like a spell so then when they meet again as adults it like the spell enacts and like forces them to have to get married and it's quite comical and I've been enjoying it so much then we move on to all of the books that I got that were free. Um, I'm not sure if any of the rest of these are on Kindle Unlimited or not. I believe Between Fear and Favor is on there. And then I believe The Marriage Hex will be on Kindle Unlimited. It has not been released yet at the time that I am filming this video. But I think it should be on Kindle Unlimited. So then I got The Unlikely Omega by Mona Black. This is supposed to be an epic fantasy romance that is Omegaverse. Um, there is a wide shoes romance too. And it says that our female main character finds out that she is a prophesized Fey Omega that will bring back the lost Fey race. But the society that she lives in does not want the Fey race to come back. So that sounded really good. I got that. Um, then I got Omega's Choosing by Evie Burks. This one is, oh, she is a, our female main character is an Omega and she goes to this alpha island um, to choose her two alphas that she's going to be with because I guess in this like society per their government, each Omega has to be mated and choose like be with two alphas. 
so she goes to this alpha island to do that. I don't know. It sounded interesting. Then I have Not Safe for Work by Lilith K. Duat. Um, this one sounded really cool. This is an Omegaverse and it's like a sex worker of Omegaverse. Like she is a cam girl and she takes a job in with this um, company that makes adult films. Um, and she ends up falling for her co-star. Um, I just, I don't know. I love books that have like sex worker stuff involved it, with it. I also uh, love Omegaverse books. So combining the two of them together, I can't wait to read this one. Then we have Alpha Daddy by, uh, it's hard, kind of hard to read my writing, RK Pierce. Um, this is a contemporary Omegaverse story. Um, it says that she, our female main character is homeless. She's an Omega, but she is pretending to be a beta. Um, and then she ends up asking for help from this, I think he's a bartender and he's an alpha. I don't know. It sounded like there was going to be daddy kink from the title. So I wanted it. Then we have Pixel Perfect Pack by Sabrina Bloom. This one sounded really cool too. This I think is a novella maybe. This is an Omegaverse story, of course. Um, this is about our Omega. She ends up, she like plays online games and she is coming on to like an unexpected heat. And so she asks her gamer friends to help her out with her heat. This also says that there is chronic illness representation. So I'm very intrigued by that. I really want to get to this one soon if I can. Then I have Not Your Fairy Tale by, uh, again, I can't read my handwriting, Jerea James, maybe. Um, this is another contemporary Omegaverse story. Um, so this is our Omega was on a reality TV show. Um, and she like chooses like a pack, but then ends up getting humil humiliated on live TV because this pack that she chose rejects her. So that's not cool. So she moves away. Um, and she is unsure if she can let new people into her heart because of what happened to her. So that sounds really cool. Then on Thin Ice by Calliope Stewart. I have read one book from Calliope Stewart before. And I've been wanting to pick up more from her. So this is an Omegaverse, but it's also a sports romance. Um, so our female main character does figure skating. And then one or more of the guys in this romance does um, plays hockey. Oh, there's also an accidental pregnancy and amnesia. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. Um, then I have A Pack for Christmas by Jillian West. Um, this is... I'm not exactly sure. It, the, the description on this one was kind of vague. It just sounds like there is an, uh, this, our female character is a mega. She's desperate for a pack. And so she, there's this company called The Exchange that she uses to help her try to find her pack. I don't know. It was a megaverse and I've heard th good things about Jillian West stories. So I wanted to try this one out. Then I got Catch Me by Serena Song. This one is an Omegaverse that is a small town guy or small town guys and oh, a big city socialite girl. Um, she's getting ready for her first heat. Then The Secret Fiance by Katharina Mara. This is not Omegaverse, but Katharina Mara is like huge. I have not read any of her books. This is like the fifth book in the Windsor series. So I'm not sure if this is a standalone or if I need to read the other books before this one. I will have to check that out. Um, this is a um, billionaire arranged marriage romance. Sounds like they get into a game of truth or dare. Then they have a one night stand. Um, and then he, they, she leaves or something and he still wants her. So he takes a job as her professor to be near her something. I don't know. It sounded a little bit like, I don't know, maybe, maybe this author is, everybody seems to re really enjoy this author. I haven't checked her out, so I really need to, but the description kind of sounded like this author just picked a bunch of tropes and just tried to like throw them together by what's, what's on the blurb. 
Um, it sounds kind of like very dramatic and chaotic, but I might love that. Who knows? Then I have Obedience Volume 1 by Lizzie B. Brown. All I know about this is that it's professor student and it kind of sounds like there might be femdom in this. So like the where the woman is dominant in the relationship. I could be wrong, but that's like the vibe that I was getting from the description of this. And I love professor student stories. So it was free. So I picked this one. Um, then I have The Scent of Us Part 1 by Ileana Lee. I have heard so so many good things about this Omegaverse series. Um, this one is our Omega. She dissolves uh, her bonds with an unwanted pack. Um, and that, that's like become like a new thing that Omegas can like, it's kind of like divorce, I guess. So that sounds cool. And then she's very, um, because her pack was like kind of abusive, it sounds like. And then she's reluctant to find a new pack. She's very alpha shy is what it describes. So that sounds really good. That gives me um, Lola and the Millionaires vibes by Catherine Moon. And I loved those books, like loved those. So I, like I said, I've heard so many good things about this one. I really need to get to it. Also, I'm very intrigued about how big this polyamorous deal ends up being because at the end, it gives you like the description of like how many because you know, like polyamory books, they usually say um, like MMF or like MMMF for like four people. It sounds like there are six guys and one girl because it is an MMF MMMM. I'm like, holy smokes. What am I going to be getting into the, with this book? I, I can't wait. Honestly, I really can't. That sounds, I don't know what it sounds like, but I can't wait to try it out. Then I got Spookily Yours by Jennifer Chipman, which I do actually, um, I, you can't see it, but I have the actual, like a physical copy of this book. Um, but it was free and I am more inclined to read an ebook anyway. So I just was like, I might as well, I'll just get the ebook and have it on my Kindle. So this one is a paranormal romance, um, our witch, she has her cat who is her familiar. Um, but he then like tells her that he's actually a demon and he was cursed at one point to become a cat. So he asks her to help him reverse this curse. And then I think it ends up being a romance between the two of them. Then I got Extra Wicked Things by Cassie Alexander. I got this because I have really enjoyed a lot of Cassie Alexander's stuff, not realizing what this one was. This one is just a um, amalgamation of extra chapters and short stories that this author has done. So I don't know that I will honestly read any of this, um, but I did get this one because I like Cassie, Ale Cassie Alexander. And then I got Bite Me by Faye Quinn. This one was also hard to figure out from the description. It was very all over the place, but this is a male, male vampire romance. Then I got Deal with a Demon by Amy Wright. Um, this one is she's broke, so she becomes a sex worker for a demon company. I think that sounds great. I can't wait to try that one out. And then I have No Sugar Coating It by DJ Russo. Um, so this one, she is, uh, our female main character is a demon and she has this candy shop to lure souls um, so she can take them down to hell, I guess. And she has this guy that comes in. He's kind of an asshole, but she wants him for herself. And there, this one does feature femdom in it. Then we have By the Pint by Gemma Croft. Um, this is a telepathic human. Oh, this is a male male romance with vampires. Um, telepathic human wants to be a vampire and will get his wish if he extracts secrets from his master's enemy. I've heard really good things about this book and I've been wanting to try it out. So it was free. I was like, this is perfect.
Um, then Blessed by the Cupid Distribution System by Robin Joe Margaret. Um, so this is features our two characters. We have an autistic ace spec trans female main character and a plus size Cupid female main character. Um, so this is sapphic. So then we, the Cupid helps Iris, our trans female main character, find love and knock off dates from her bucket list together. It sounded really cute. I followed this author on Instagram and I've been wanting to read some of her stuff. So again, perfect opportunity because it was free. Then I have Not For Not For Me by Rory Miles. I read one book from Rory Miles and loved it. And I've been wanting to try more from this author. This is an Omegaverse story. Um, our Omega doesn't want to pack. Um, so then she is sent to the Omega auctions. And she is auctioned off and becomes a maid for this unmated pack. And then I'm assuming that then she becomes their Omega somehow, even though she's only there to be their maid. I don't know. I, I want to try more from her out. And then the last book that I have for this ebook haul is going to be Earth Boys Are Easy by C. Rochelle. This is a spinoff series from her Villainous Thing series, which is a completely, it's a like superhero and villain romance series. They're all male-male romances. This is also a male-male romance. Um, I, this has um, the idiots in love trope, which I'm not sure if I'm a fan of. I honestly can't remember if I've read any kind of idiots in love story. Um, and then this one is that our superhero wants to find love and so they decide to go to space to find it. So it kind of like combines like the superhero stuff, but like with space like stuff. So um, I've heard good things, although I am a little bit hesitant. I don't know. Maybe if you all have read C. Rochelle, if you've read her villainous, villainous things series or this book, leave comments down below, down below convincing me why I should read this. I got the first book of the Villainous Things um, series in a prior like free ebook haul. So I got it to try it out. I have read a couple C. Rochelle books. They were okay. They were okay. Um, so I just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of like series that only feature male, male stories. And that's just, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's definitely like it can get a little bit more, um, like kink fetish, like fetishizing male, male relationships, especially when women write a ton of them. I don't know. So anyway, that is going to be it for my ebook haul for September. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Um, leave a comment down below if you've read any of these books. Which one should I get to first? Love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, that is going to be it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.